are interest rates going to go up and is it going to affect the housing market my opinion right after this all right so now we're back my name is leo welcome to my channel everyone wants to know what's going to happen i could tell you from experience right now we have four deals right now two of them are being are in construction uh we're doing full guts and two of them are in contract my partner is a real estate agent. I can tell you here in New Jersey, we have about 30 to 50 offers per house. There are lines of cars down the block. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to slow down, but I can tell you that the majority of the people here in New Jersey are cash heavy. They literally have half a million dollars cash in the bank. A lot of the houses that they're looking at are between 500 and 800,000. Even if they put down about half for mortgage going up a point i don't see any difference in mortgage payment for them it's a small amount they just need somewhere to live so you have a lot of people that are actually selling their homes they're downsizing they have a lot of money in the bank and they really don't care i mean a lot of houses here in new jersey because we see that we're what we're doing is we're seeing migration patterns and the migration patterns are coming from new york city people don't want to work in an office anymore so what they're doing is they're finding houses that are about an hour away. I live about an hour south of New York City and it's, you know, we have a half an acre of land here. Some places, actually one of the flips that we're doing right now has two and a half acres. If you don't, if you haven't seen any of the videos of my flips, you can go on my Instagram, you can join Instagram. I did a live that I actually uploaded a video of one of the properties that I, that, that we have right now that we're renovating. And honestly, uh, I just don't see this crash that they're talking about. I was in 2008 and in 2008 was a little bit different because there was a lot of uh, properties that, you know, went into foreclosure, you know, the mortgage, it was the whole mortgage fiasco. It was totally different now. Now we don't have enough inventory. Back then there was a ton of inventory. People defaulted on their mortgages and it was just it was just a totally different scenario now we do have a lot of supply issues we're having you know we can't get certain you know the, the cheaper houses believe it or not like a, a builder can't build a cheap house right so because it doesn't pay for them so what they're doing is they're building these eight hundred thousand to a million dollar homes because obviously they're you know the, the the material that they're using is a lot you know it makes more sense on paper for them to make a profit, right? So the two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars houses, builders are really not making it, right? So at the end of the day, what they're doing is they're going for the higher end houses. Now here in Jersey, Jersey's like California. It's one of the highest tax states. I don't know why I'm still living here. I can't wait to get out of here. I'm bouncing to Florida like everyone else in like two years. But like I'm in the same boat. Like I'd love to buy a house. I mean, I bought a couple places in Miami that we um airbnb right now uh but it's just gone so crazy like i'm literally was looking for houses and they were going for a hundred thousand over these are like eight hundred thousand dollar homes so i refuse to do that i'd rather get an off-market deal but i'm physically here right now i am not down in florida i got my mom you know she doesn't live far from me my dad died from you know the uh the, you know the cerveza sickness um, that happened a year and a half ago and now my mom's all by herself she's 75 years old uh, and she has problems with her hip she has a lot of medical issues so I don't want to leave her alone I kind of want to take her down there but it's hard like when you're when you're an older person and you're stuck in your ways it's hard just to uproot yourself and just go move somewhere else that's 95 degrees all year round it's it's you live up here and you know, we have to change the seasons and one. It's, it's a little difficult. So, you know, there's a lot of different things when, when people are moving, you have family, you have a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of moving pieces that you have to really take into consideration before you move. So I think right now with regards to the housing market and what things will happen, I, mean, I think the Fed, they're a bunch of bozos. So, you know, everyone's like, oh no, they can't raise interest rates. They can't do it. But you know what? I mean, we have an administration that's just, they're just imbeciles, in my opinion. They don't realize that by increasing these interest rates, they, they what they're trying to do is they're trying to increase interest rates for something to break, whether it's the stock market or the housing market. So if the housing market keeps going like it is, 
like there has to be some sort of checks and balances. So by increasing interest rates, it kind of like softens the price of housing, right? So I, my opinion, I think we're going to see 6%, at least 6% interest rates for mortgages and housing prices will soften a little, but you're not going to see housing prices soften immediately. You still have all those people with tons of money in the bank and they're literally lining up to houses waiting for you know open houses outbidding each other, 50,000, 100,000 over asking. It's really bananas what it is. I am actually going to record a live a video when we have an open house to our flip. It's probably going to be around, I would say, May or June. So when I record that, I will upload it to YouTube just to show you guys how insanely bananas it is with, with properties. Now, again, we're following migration patterns, right? So people from New York City are coming down to Jersey. Same thing with Florida, right? People from Jersey and New York are going down to Florida. So when you see these markets, and even people from the West Coast, they're going from California to Texas, they're going from California to Florida. Like these are the migration patterns that you have to follow in order to see where the hot markets are. Will it slow down? You know, it's, 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 it's hard to say. I mean, it's something has to give. And I just think that we're out, we're like at least two to three years out before we see any type of ridiculous like drop in prices. I just think with the money inflation, with the money printing, like if the if it keeps going up and interest rates rise, you'll have it'll come down a little bit. But I think you're not going to see these drastic plummets of like thirty percent. I mean, I saw houses go down like thirty percent, forty percent when in two thousand and eight. So, like I said, it's a little bit. It's it's it, every market is different. It's different in California. It's different on the West Coast. It's different in like Middle America. But like on the East Coast right now, Miami's a hot is on fire like you can't even touch anything it's like seven hundred dollars a square foot right now it's which is insane and i mean that's pretty much it it's just the demand so i hope this helped you guys out leave a comment down below if you had any uh any questions give me a thumbs up um and also give me some suggestions on what other hot topics you want me to talk about like i said we're out there we're doing flips right now i'm in a hot market i'm in two markets my other partners they're down in florida doing um, lots of Airbnb. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.